Hi, I'm Karthik Gondan. I'm a researcher and PhD student at Kaushan Medical University, Taiwan. In my research, I'm focusing in synthetic organic chemistry to develop a novel methodologies in sustainable methods and also amide bond reaction towards useful functional group transformations. As EJ Kore said, part of the charm of synthetic organic chemistry derives from the vastness of the intellectual landscape along several dimensions. There is almost infinite variety and number of possible target structures that lurk in the darkness waiting to be made. The chemistry of heterocyclic or HO atom containing compounds and methods for the synthesis from the bedrock of modern chemi medicinal chemical and pharmaceutical research. In particular, the amides and relevant nitrogen containing functional groups appear widely in common organic compounds as well as in more complex molecules in various fields. Due to the significance and applications, the development of new synthetic methods in an efficient and greener approaches has been an important research objective in synthetic chemistry. In this perspective, a non-planar amides called NSL glutamides, which has silent features with a bench stable crystalline solid, more reactivity and easy availability. Also, more importantly, it has perpendicular twist angle with 90 degree. It has been used as solving substrates to synthesize primary amides under greener solvent with simple base via selective CN bond cleavage. This reaction is a first example which we discover for tertiary amide hydrolysis to amide as a prime product. So similarly, we describe how allyl bromide can be used a single key for the divergent synthesis of nitrogen containing functional groups from amides through selective CN bond activation. So these approaches are single to perform a mild and green approach tolerates a broad substrate scope and provides a range of valuable functional groups. So moreover, both these methods for grand scale synthesis using continuous flow method was achieved. So it is worth noted that our new methodology can apply under both batch and flow condition for synthetic and industrial applications. As I said earlier, the development of sustainable methods that use non-toxic, affordable, inexpensive, easily available substrate available feed soak and reagents for higher reactivity or efficient synthesis has become one of the pivotal areas of research. Here, DMF identified as a dual synthon to construct amino quinolines and also used as a C1 synthon to synthesis quinozolinone derivatives which both has potential applications in pharmaceuticals. I strongly believe that the developed new discoveries exist as useful methods in a scientific community and also to satisfy societal needs. Thank you for this opportunity.